Hello, everyone. Dr. Hess here with a quick overview of Chapter 11. We have our disruptive, impulsive control and conduct disorders in this chapter. Um, some uh, very interesting disorders uh, we have here that we can study and take a little deeper look at. But let me quickly uh, give us a little overview of our chapter here. <clears throat> there we go. All right, disruptive impulse control and con conduct disorders. So in this chapter, we'll be looking at oppositional defiant disorder, conduct disorder, antisocial personality disorder, and intermittent explosive disorder. Um, all uh, disorders are from the DSM-5, and um, yeah, I encourage you to go online and take a look at the uh, DSM-5 for these uh, if you want to, or just go deeper into our, uh, our textbook has a lot of it. Let's talk about conduct disorder. So this is uh, basically a, uh, a disorder that uh, for people who are acting badly, I guess I can say, um, they are people who are, um, that don't follow the rules, they don't follow our social or cultural norms of behavior. Um, they are obviously um, uh, can be aggressive uh, to others and uh, also to animals and to property. Um, they are um, uh, somewhat deceitful. Um, they are uh, often prone to stealing your things um, and um, seriously violating the rights of others, uh, uh, physically, financially, sexually, uh, you name it. Um, so uh, there are two different kinds of uh, conduct disorder, childhood onset, that's before age 10, and adolescent onset um, later than 10, um, and um, can continue on through life. And we'll talk about when we get to the antisocial personality disorder, how um, some of these people as adults uh, started out with conduct order as a child. Um, they don't uh, have much of a conscience. In other words, they don't feel guilty about taking advantage of us or others. Um, they lack uh, kind of empathy for other people. Um, they're in it for themselves and what they can get basically. Oppositional defiant disorder is kind of a persistent pattern of uh, irritable mood, angry, uh, defiant behavior. Um, they're into retribution or vindictiveness. Um, if you do them wrong, they'll do you wrong, um, uh, or they'll just do you wrong because uh, you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, it's a chronic um, kind of misbehavior, but less severe than um, the, some of the other disorders that we've had, uh, more common in boys than girls. Um, let's keep going here. Uh, again, feel free to come back to those slides I just went through. Uh, kind of behavioral therapy is probably one of the better um, uh, treatments for conduct disorders. Uh, where we're looking not only at the thoughts, but also the actions of, uh, of a person and um, trying to make uh, corrective changes in both of those um, areas of their life. Well, let's see. And of course, we can use some of our psychotropic medications, um, most often um, some antidepressants. Um, and mood stabilizers probably would be probably the two most common. Um, antisocial personality disorder, kind of, again, uh, disregarding the rights of others uh, uh, and repeated behaviors that are grounds for arrest. In other words, they spend a lot of time as kids and also probably as adults um, uh, avoiding the, the authorities and spending time in jail and maybe even prison. Um, they are really good at conning and lying. Um, they're very impulsive. Um, they, and again, lack remorse for their actions. And this is their personality. This is their presenting character traits uh, across 
all situations. So it's persistent across um, most of their life. Um, men are, again, men are most often diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder. Um, and about 80% of them are uh, substance abuse users, uh, abusers. Um, and um, uh, the, uh, again, no rules. They make their own rules. Um, if you're in their way, um, watch out, I guess, probably the best uh, thing here. Again, here's some of the treatments, medications. Uh, again, very difficult to treat personality disorders because, um, especially antisocial personality disorder, because um, they don't believe in therapy. They don't believe that they have a problem. You have a problem. And um, since they have their own rules, uh, most likely they will not continue in therapy unless they're court ordered. And um, again, not necessarily a good way to enter therapy. Intermittent explosive disorder. The, so this is um, uh, people and children who are uh, have anger issues, I guess probably is the best way to put it. They have explosive fits of anger. Um, again, intermittent explosive disorder, <laughs> um, names, names are a thing. And they are often um, uh, run into legal difficulties. They have uh, problems in maintaining relationships, as you can imagine. And um, when they explode at work, they're often uh, fired from their job. So they have a lot of uh, dysfunction in their um, in their life. And we are done. Okay, we're back. So quick look, chapter 11. Um, if you need more, lots more in our textbook. I'll see you in the next chapter. Bye for now.